Good morning, and welcome to day three of the Linden Denim Shorts Sew Along by Sew a Little Seam. Today, we are going to be working on our zipper fly assembly. The first time I constructed, no, the first time I properly and correctly constructed a zipper, it was a very satisfying experience. Um, I ran into mistakes that caused my zipper flies to not be completed correctly um, before. And so I am excited to be able to lead you through step by step on how to correctly um, construct the zipper fly so that it is exactly like store-bought jeans. And when you do, it is very satisfying. So let's jump right in. We'll take it one step at a time and we'll tackle this together. Today, we will be constructing and finishing our fly. The first step is to finish the edge of the fly extension. And by finish, I simply mean to stitch it so that it doesn't come unraveled. You can either do this with your serger, um, not removing any of the fabric, but simply allowing the stitches to fall along the edge of the fabric and closing it around this curve. Or you can do this with a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. Once you have finished the fly extension curve, we are going to lay the two short front pieces right sides together. Place one atop the other, line them up, we are going to be marking with a fabric pen or a fabric marker a curve that runs along here from the waistline, down along the fly extension, and along the crotch curve. You will find the top placement mark by measuring one and five eighths inches in from the edge of the waistline. You will measure five eighths of an inch in from the point where the fly extension ends and the crotch curve begins. You will continue measuring 5 eighths of an inch in from the crotch curve all the way down along the crotch curve. You will now connect the marks that you made, marking 5 eighths of an inch in along the crotch curve, and then carrying that curve up to meet the 1 and 5 eighths inch measurement that you placed at the waistline. So you now have your curve drawn in, and we are going to be basting along this curve. Now you're going to sew the seam to adhere the two short front pieces together. Begin sewing here, where you drew your line. Sew with a regular seam right up to the point where your fly extension begins. At this point, backstitch two or three stitches to lock your seam and then switch your machine to a basting stitch. Lower your tension and extend your stitch length as long as it will go. Finish the seam following the line that you drew with your fabric marker all the way up to the waistline. Once you have sewn your seam, you will clip right here right at the point where the fly extension ends inward toward your line of stitching, but stop before you go through your line of stitching. So simply clip right to your line of stitching at this point. Now that you have sewn your seam, we are going to finish off the bottom portion of the crotch curve with a zigzag stitch or with your serger. You have clipped here, creating an access point so that you can use your serger if you wish to finish off this raw edge. Now that you have finished off the free edge, anytime I mention finishing off the free edge um, with your serger, I am referring to enclosing 
the raw seam allowance with your serger stitches. I keep my seam allowance just to the left of my knife and I don't remove any of the fabric as I serge. I simply allow the serger stitches to catch the free edge and closing them so that they will not fray. Now we are going to open our project while still looking at the wrong side. Pull open your fly extension and press it flat. Press your seam allowance to the left. Once you have pressed everything nice and flat, we're going to flip our project over, keeping the seam allowance facing to the left. So place your hand on the seam allowance and flip your project over. So now we are going to top stitch. We are going to top stitch just to the right of the center front seam, about an eighth of an inch away from the seam, beginning at the waistline, top stitch down, curve around the crotch curve, all the way down to the center crotch point. In the top stitching, you want to be sure to catch this seam allowance all the way down to the crotch point. Now that you have top stitched the center seam on the front of your shorts, we are going to fold the shorts right sides together. You can use your iron or your hands to press everything flat. Make sure it's all lined up and open your fly extension. You will have a center seam, then the front of your fly extension. Your fly extension ends here and then you will have the center crotch curve. You will now want to grab your zipper. We are going to begin installation of the zipper. The zipper has both a front and a back side or a wrong side. At the bottom, it has a zipper stop. Now you want to place your zipper atop the fly extension with the right side of the zipper facing down. So the zipper pull will be facing down away from you. You want to line up the zipper stop a half an inch above the bottom of the fly extension where you placed the clip in your seam. Now I like to use wash away wonder tape to help ensure proper placement and to keep the zipper exactly where I want it while I sew my seam. So I'm going to place the wash away wonder tape beginning a half an inch up from the bottom of the fly extension to the right side of the center seam of the fly extension, an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch away from the seam on the right side. Now I'm going to place my zipper precisely atop that in the same manner, lining up the zipper stop a half an inch above the bottom of the fly extension and keeping the zipper teeth one eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch to the right side of the center seam of the fly extension. Press to adhere, double check for proper placement, and now we will sew to adhere the zipper to the fly extension. You will sew with your sewing machine and a zipper foot. The zipper foot allows you to sew closer to the zipper teeth than a standard foot would allow. You will sew one eighth of an inch with a straight stitch along the zipper teeth, an eighth of an inch away from the zipper teeth, down the full length of the zipper. Now that you've sewn your zipper to your fly extension, we are going to flip the zipper over so that we will be looking at the right side of the zipper. We will be folding this edge of the fly extension under. Flip the zipper over, fold the fly extension under, and if you can, Remove your wash away wonder tape. Sometimes it's caught in your stitches, but you can often just simply rip it away. Press with your fingers to press it down. And we will now be sewing top stitching. So you need to put the top stitching thread back into your machine. We will now be top stitching along the edge of the zipper teeth. You will be lining up your top stitching an eighth of an inch away from the folded edge. 
you can see the folded edge here where it lines up against the zipper teeth. We will be 1 8 of an inch back from the folded edge. So one line of top stitching. Now that you've top stitched, we are going to flip the shorts over so that we are looking at the other side. So simply place your hand atop the shorts and flip the entire project over. You should be looking at the wrong side of the zipper. I'm going to reach beneath the shorts and pull the other edge of the fly extension out. So reach beneath, pull the fly extension out so that the fly extension is open and laying flat and you're looking at the wrong side of your zipper. Now I'm going to use my wash away wonder tape again and I'm going to use it to adhere this side of the zipper to the fly extension here. Now you want to make sure that the shorts are laying smooth and flat. So I'm going to pull my zip, zipper over and look at the right side, place my wash away wonder tape along the zipper teeth, smooth everything out, smooth out the fly extension, lay the zipper back down and press to adhere the tape. Now it is at this point that in the past I have run into some small issues with everything not being completely flat. Um, if it isn't completely flat, you can have some trouble with your fly um, not being completely smooth in your completed garment. So I'm gonna show you now how to double check to make sure that everything is flat. So if you're using wash away wonder tape, then it should be taped down and securely adhered at this point. I'm going to open the shorts so that I'm looking at the right side of the shorts. And then I'm going to flip the zipper to the right so that I am looking at the correct side of the zipper and it is on the right side of the seam, the center front seam. Smooth everything out again. And now you can begin to see how your shorts will look once they are completed. If you run your hand along above the zipper, if you feel any bulk or bubbling of fabric, then it needs to be smoothed a bit further, and I'll show you that. You can see the fly extension here. I simply pull it away from the wash away wonder tape and smooth it back down to adhere it in precisely the right spot. Now when you run your hand over the front of the shorts, it should feel smooth and flat with no bubbling of fabric beneath. So now we're going to flip our project back over. I'm just going to place my hands on the project and flip the entire project back over. So now you are looking at the wrong side of your zipper. You have your fly extension open and your zipper is adhered with your wonder tape to the fly extension. We are going to sew on the left side of the zipper teeth with our zipper foot an eighth of an inch away from the zipper teeth adhering it to the fly extension, and then we will sew a second line of stitching close to the edge of the zipper tape, down the edge of the zipper tape, so that you have two straight stitch lines of stitching adhering the zipper to the fly extension. Once you have sewn with your zipper foot close to the teeth, and then further out at the edge of the zipper tape, you can flip your shorts open. Again, flip the zipper to the right side. Smooth everything out. And we are really making progress. Our zipper is almost installed. We are now going to add our top stitching. We have iconic jean top stitching that curves along the front. Um, it is both decorative and functional. It is going to attach the fly extension to the front of the shorts and help secure everything together. So it is imperative that your zipper and your fly extension be facing to the right side of the center seam and that everything is smooth and laid flat. Now you have in your pattern a pattern piece that is called a fly top stitch guide. Now I use this directly to guide my top stitching lines. And by directly, I mean, 
I do not use um, a fabric marker to draw the guidelines on. You are welcome to use that method, but I'm going to show you the method that I use. So I, again, I use my wa trusty Wash Away Wonder Tape, and I simply placed it along the pattern piece for the fly top stitch guide. I am now going to lay the top stitch guide atop the shorts. I am going to line the straight edge up with the center seam, lining the top up with the waistline. ensuring that it is smooth and straight. Now I'm going to top stitch right along the edge of the pattern piece that you see here, following along the edge with my top stitching. So I've top stitched along the edge of the pattern piece. Um, now I have chosen this method because I feel that it helps me to achieve a more precise line um, I'm using dark denim and achieving a nice fine line with chalk um, hasn't proven to have successful results for me. So this is the method that I have settled on. So now I'm going to remove my guide. You can see the top stitching there. Now I'm simply going to use the same piece with the same tape on the back and I'm going to re-adhere it but I'm going to slide it up and back a quarter of an inch. It takes a little bit of finessing. You gotta kind of eye it. But I moved it up and back so that I now have a quarter of an inch space in between the guide and my original line of top stitching. And I will now top stitch along the edge of the guide once again. So now I have top stitch, the inner row of top stitching. I'm going to remove the fly guide. Now, I may have made it look easy here, um, and using this method is certainly helpful, but I have to admit that not all of my top stitching attempts have been perfectly successful, and it does take practice. Um, sometimes the sewing machine doesn't want to cooperate with a thicker thread, and you need to play around with your tension settings. Um, if you run into issues where you have a lot of top stitching thread looping on the back, um, simply Take all the thread off of your machine, re-thread, start from the beginning, check your tension settings, um, and start again. So top stitching is a learning process and it does take some perseverance, um, but once you achieve a top stitching style and method that works for you, it goes pretty seamlessly. We're now going to move our shorts aside and take a look at our fly extension. The fly extension here, it will have the interfacing placed on one side. We are going to fold it right sides together. And we are going to sew along the slanted bottom edge. The top edge should be straight, the bottom should be slanted. Sew along here, adhering the two pieces together. You will be sewing this seam with a quarter inch seam allowance and a straight stitch on your sewing machine. We are now going to flip the fly extension so that you are looking at the right side. You can use something to help poke out that corner. Lay it flat, and at this point I like to give it a good press. And now I'm going to grab our now we're going to grab our shorts once again. We're going to fold them in half with right sides together. We're going to lay them flat with the crotch seam facing to the right side. You will be looking at the wrong side of the zipper and the zipper guard will be open and laying flat. You will take your fly extension with the free edge or the raw edge on the right side. Again, grab your wash away wonder tape. And this time you will be placing it along your fly extension here at the very edge, just a little over half 
the length of the fly extension. You will now take your zipper guard and the free edge and line it up with the edge of the fly extension. Now it will only line up to about here and the rest, because the fly extension curves, the zipper guard will not line up with the edge. Now you will sew with a quarter inch seam allowance as far down as the two line up, stopping about here, and then finish the raw edge of your fly extension with a zigzag stitch or with your serger. Now that you have adhered your fly extension, you can once again open your shorts, lay everything smooth and flat. And the last step we are going to do now is to put our bar tacks. Now the bar tacks are both decorative and functional. Um, they serve to help tack the fly extension to the front of the shorts to hold everything in place securely. Now you can look at a pair of ready to wear jeans or shorts that you already have for placement of bar tacks. I generally place one on the inner line of top stitching right here along the front and then one along the outer line of top stitching further up the curve right about here. I recommend that you practice your bar tacks on scraps of fabric before trying them on your denim to ensure that it works well on your machine. I use a zigzag stitch um, that is both narrowed and um, a shorter length. And so it's simply a, zi a close zigzag stitch. You can see my bar tacks here. Here and here. And I set my sewing machine settings to a length of 0.5 and a width of 3. Now the next step is a rather satisfying step. It is to remove the basting stitches that are holding the front of your fly closed, um, exposing a now functional fly that you have installed. So simply take a seam ripper, find your basting stitch, and this is the new Kai seam ripper that we have in stock. It is amazing and makes quick work of seam ripping. This is easy because it is a basting stitch, but even on a regular stitch, it makes quick work of what used to take me quite a bit longer. So remove those basting stitches, and pull out the threads, and you now have a functional zipper that opens, and you can see the zipper guard there, so the zipper will be held away from your skin and comfortable. And you have now completed your zipper and you should feel very proud of yourself.